And tonight we're getting a first look at new surveillance video. Police say shows Harmony Jax early morning Sunday driving in her car, being followed by her child's father. Now, Jax has been missing ever since. And that's right. Brett Rains is following this for us. He's live in our coma with video from police. Brett, you also spoke with Jax's family as well as the last person who is thought to have seen her. Arcoma police tell me as of right now, they've not found any evidence that a crime has been committed, but they are telling me that Harmony Jackson's disappearance does involve uh, suspicious circumstances. Now they've still not elaborated on exactly what those circumstances may be. Family members tell me that Jax might have been mentally unstable after a close friend of hers committed suicide. And Jax is uh, the father of her child, says he did everything he could to try and stop her from leaving her home early Sunday morning. I knew that she was in danger. That's why I rushed down to the house to go get her, because I love her. You know, she's my baby mama. I've never not loved her. I've never not wanted to be with her. Brady Hope was the last known person to see Harmony Jacks. He was with her Saturday night and early Sunday morning when Hope says the 24 year old woman told him she was leaving to see someone in Greenwood. She's in her bedroom texting. She's like into texting. And I said, who are you texting? I asked her and she said this random dude from Greenwood that just hit me up. It's like, that's what I'm told. She ran out of this house. She runs out of this house and she gets in the car. I'm literally, she's backing out. I get in my truck. I'm going down the road after her. Arcoma police say this surveillance video shows Jax driving through parts of Pecola and Hope following her. I get in front of her past zero. And when I get in front of her, she slows the car down and turns around. And I'm on the phone with police. During this time, I'm on the, on the line with the dispatcher. I lost sight of her. Arcoma Police Chief Michael Ivey says they have evidence that supports Hope's story. Well, at this point, we don't have a crime. We have a missing person, so he wouldn't be considered a suspect. Ivey also confirms that Jax was previously suicidal, but says there's no evidence that points to that right now. She was last seen driving her red Nissan Altima two-door coupe. The car has yet to be found. Police are also looking for Jax's cell phone and the search is expanding. We've uh, issued a request to OHP to uh, use their sonar to check the Poto River. This is not indicative uh, that we believe that she's there. This is just part of a thorough investigation. Tonight, family members are holding out hope for the best. I'm just thinking she's not dealing with a, a friend's death and she wants to deal with it on her own. I'm overly impressed with the amount of effort being put into looking for my daughter. Yeah, there's people, a lot of people looking for her right now. Jasper's four. He loves monster trucks and airplanes and fishing. He's caught all kinds of catfish and bass and he cooks them and he eats them. He loves his mama. And the police tell me that everyone that they're talking to involved in the case is cooperating with the ongoing investigation. The police chief says that they're hoping to start the expanded search for Jax on Friday. Live in Arcoma, Brett Rains, 4029 News.